Five years ago on Valentine's Day, I was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma. It's a rare childhood cancer. You don't think of, oh my God, I'm gonna die. It's more like, I'm gonna lose my hair. I'm gonna be skinny. I'm gonna not be able to eat. I'm gonna be in the hospital all the time. I can't go to school, I can't see my friends. Unfortunately, cancer is a cruel component of Talia Castellano's childhood. Five rounds of chemotherapy, then she had surgery, then we did another round of um, chemotherapy, then we went for a stem cell transplant, then she had radiation. She needed a lot of platelets and a lot of blood. Many may remember her as the girl who personally thanked her donors during the 2010 multi-gallon donor appreciation event. You've motivated, inspired people to give that never gave blood before. Would you like to meet the donors here in this room who, who helped save your life? How does this feel having all these people up here? Uh, um. You're speechless. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that was two years ago. I relapsed twice since then. She still has uh, two spots. Um, they are slowly getting smaller, but the cancer's still there, and we're still, we're still fighting. Part of Talia's treatment includes a time-release chemotherapy capsule, along with platelets from donors every three weeks. It's really, really incredible to think about your life depending on someone just going and donating blood. It's really, in a way, scary, in a way, thankful, and you feel just mixed emotions when you really do think about that, on how it, it's really up to you on whether or not you want to go and donate blood. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Talia's not